our design is a unit structure where all of the things that you do for that particular topic area are in one location. And we had a little trouble because you couldn't take the lecture, the video lecture link out of the menu in the, within the platform. And we really didn't want it there like that because we didn't want students just to go listen to the videos, which, you know, a little short-sighted. I mean, these are people who, we don't know why they're taking the course. If all they want to do is the video, let them do it. <laughs> you know, we did, but that's not how we were feeling. You know, we were, we were thinking of our students, and so we were, we were thinking we wanted to go through you know, this series of things. And and I think it was appropriate for us to build the course that way uh, because of where our, our end goal was to have students uh, bypass the developmental course sequence. That was our goal and so uh, in writing. And so we wanted them to view the lecture. First of all, read what our outcomes were for the unit. You know, we had uh, five units. The first one was about being a um, successful online learner because we figured that we'd have students coming in who um, hadn't taken an online class before. And as it turns out, that was 30% of our students. And um, another, about almost 30% of them had only taken one or two online courses and not successfully. So um, it was a lot of students who needed that. A uh, little bit of introduction to what it's like to be a uh, successful online learner, and we really focused it on successful online learning in traditional online courses. Traditional online courses it sounds so funny, but um, you know we we wanted them to be able to go on and take other online classes too, not just MOOCs. So that's what that first unit is about. It's real short, but. It does. It tells them what kinds of things they need to know. It has them do an exercise in time management and some other stuff. Um, and then the second unit really gets into the writing. So the second unit starts with what you're going to learn and what you're going to do. And so students really clearly see the outcomes and the objectives of the course and then how the activities that we have them do meet those outcomes. And, and when the student sees that, it's more about, okay, I get why I'm supposed to do this because I want to learn this thing that they say I'm going to learn. And in order to learn that, I have to do this. You know, and they're starting, they make those connections, and I think they're more invested. Um, because we got compliments from students about that, you know, that it wasn't just go in there and figure out on your own. It was very clear how we wanted them to move through the course. And the students who did, did well. And so at that, we have some of the analytics. I don't have all the data, um, and I can try to send, I think I'm, going to do that anyway. I can send you the report that we have from our, uh, from our researchers. But, um, you know, what the students said were, was more important to me. But, you know, so you see a lecture. You go through that, what you're going to learn, what you're going to do. You see the lecture. Then you read. There was a, the uh, teachers created a reader for the class. Um, and this is, you know, foundations of writing. So it's speech and, and uh, the parts of speech and, lang and language use language usage, it's like watching paint dry, you know. Um, but they did it in a really good way. But mm -hmm. you do the lecture, you do the reading, uh, you have exercises to do. There was peer review of the writing because you cannot review the writing yourself. There's just no, no way you can do that. So um, the teachers did really detailed rubrics um, that you have to follow. And the system, Coursera system, um, has a, it's got a really nice peer review component where um, students have to go through it in order, you know, they have to address the rubric in order to get through the exercise. So, um, you know, we were able to do a detailed rubric. Students submit their writing. They're put in a group by the, by the platform, puts them into groups. Um, they submit their writing. They review each other uh, in groups of five. The high and the low are dropped out, and they're... Um, their grade or their score is based on the average of the other three. And t in talking to students, they said that reviewing each other's work was a bigger learning experience than doing their own work. Mm -hmm. So because of the rubric. Um, so they did that, and then they also had a uh, discussion assignment that was optional. They didn't have to do that, but um, there was always a discussion question that they could be involved with. And then. Um, uh, they, have, they usually took a quiz of some kind. So, you know, those are the main components of the course. 